Good morning, Louisville students, alumni, faculty, and most of all, Louisville mothers. My name is Mara Crowley Oliva, class of 81, and as always, am blessed to introduce as my daughter, Gina Piazza Hirschberger, class of 2007. The mother-daughter mass is the final liturgy of the school year. In this moment, we take the opportunity to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus. As we look to the end of the school year, we acknowledge that we are living in challenging and uncertain times, times that require an incredible amount of courage and faith. Through honoring Mary's courage, faith, and love for her son, we also celebrate our own mothers who have helped to mold us into courageous, confident, and caring individuals. And finally, we gather to honor the graduating class of 2020 as they are inducted into the Louisville Alumni Association. Today, we give thanks to all of the empowering women, present and non-present, who raised us to be the women we are today. We celebrate each mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, mentor, and friend that has helped guide our lives as we seek to carry out the moral, spiritual, and vocational plans God has in store for us. We thank God for the unconditional love and support we have experienced from these influential women, especially our mothers, and ask that we are granted the wisdom to embrace these relationships as we continue to live our lives inspired by joy, love, and faith. Finally, we would like to thank all Louisville alumni who have shown the impact of a Louisville education and serve as a reminder that Louisville is not a school to last only four years, rather a home to last a lifetime. As we reflect upon the love that has been shown to us throughout our lives, let us now begin our Mass to honor the bond between mothers and daughters, celebrate our past, and, and welcome, welcome the Class of 2020, 2020 to the future. future. You give me a minute just to get to the piano. We'll join in our opening song, 10,000 Reasons. song and the beautiful introduction. Let us continue that prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, may the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It is an honor and a privilege always to come to Louisville High School, but this very special mother-daughter mass and the induction of the alum. My dear friends, it is an honor and we do open our hearts to Mary, our mother. Whatever you're feeling, wherever you are, and maybe anxiety, whatever it is, let the mothers bring peace like our Heavenly Mother does. So take a moment, maybe being together and asking the good Lord to bring peace into our homes and in our hearts as we begin Mass. Lord, like Mary, our Blessed Virgin Mary, you call us to walk in your light of humility and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you call us to be that light of others, to others, the light of love, as Mary, our mother. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord, you call us, like our Heavenly Mother, to trust. Trust in your love. Share that love with others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Mothers and daughters, join your hands together. Let's pray. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, full of grace from among women, to become the mother of your Son, our Redeemer, mercifully grant that venerating her holy name, we may escape the dangers of this present age, present time, and obtain with her eternal life. Bless all of Louisville, school, the moms, the, the students, everyone here at Louisville. Bless, protect them, and keep them healthy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated and hear God's word. A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, conduct your affairs with humility, and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble yourself the more, the greater you are, and you will find favor with God. What is too sublime for you, seek not. Into things beyond your strength, search not. And an attentive ear is the joy of the wise. Water quenches a flaming fire, and alms atone for sins. The word, word of, of the Lord. Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading entitled Love of the World was written by Charlotte Tall Mountain, an artist and poet of Iroquois Native American heritage. For the love of a tree, she went out on a limb. For the love of the sea, she rocked the boat. For the love of the earth, she dug deeper. For the love of community, she mended fences. For the love of the stars, she let her light shine. For the love of spirit, she nurtured her soul. 
For the love of a good time, she sowed seeds of happiness. For the love of God, she drew down the moon. For the love of nature, she made compost. For the love of a good meal, she gave thanks. For the love of a family, she reconciled differences. For the love of creativity, she entertained new possibilities. For the love of her enemies, she suspended judgment. For the love of herself, she acknowledged her own worth, and the world was richer for her. Amen. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out, traveled to the hill country in haste, to the town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, it is great to be here with you at Louisville High School. Just two simple rules. You cannot fast forward the homily, <laughs> nor can you get up and go to the refrigerator to get something to eat, because we have ways of knowing. My dear friends, this is such weird times. And even though we are together remotely, we're not together. So more and more are we dependent upon our smartphones. I have never used my smartphone more than I have in these last few months. And there is a technical difficulty with my phone. Some people think that technical difficulty is with me, but it really is the phone. So finally, I got a very patient expert technician last week. And we were on my computer, and he was very patient with me because this is not my forte. And so what he said to me was, we got to go through all of these layers. Go to settings and push this button, and then hold it there, and we'll go to somewhere else. And each time we started to peel back the layers to get to the root of what the problem is. And nobody can hear me on Zoom, or if I do FaceTime, you can see me, but you can't hear me. So there's something wrong with the microphone. So after about 50 minutes or so, we got to the core of the problem, and we realized we still can't fix it, but that's a different homily. <laughs> but as I was thinking about it, life is like this, patience. You gotta have patience, and you have to be able to peel back the layers of relationship. 
We have to peel back the layers of our heart and soul. Why? Because God has something planned for you. And even though sometimes it maybe is uncomfortable, we have to be patient. But the more we peel back the things that we create, the layers, the less we are the authentic person God wants us to be. Mary, our mother, she trusted. She was moved and deeply troubled, remember? But she trusted. She had to pull back as a human, as a woman, as a courageous woman, to be able to get to that point of saying, Yes to God. Friends, all of us do. So what happens in life? What happens in life when we peel back those layers? Have you ever had the layer of fear? Fear of maybe stepping out or failure or whatever it may be, certainly in the times we're living now. Fear is real. But when you pull back that layer of fear, And then we begin to see things and we begin to be able to feel courage and strength. I don't know about you, but certainly in these last few months, being at St. Mel without the community, it's been lonely. And there are times in my life where you just say, wow, God, are you here? Whether it's coronavirus or not, I think we've all felt lonely in our lives, searching for something deeper. And when you, you hook it on to that net of life, and sometimes just with faith or with life and decisions, we all experience doubt. Mary had to really trust. She doubted. I have never been with a man. How is this going to happen to me? I have doubts. But Mary took that doubt and she transformed it into something so much deeper. Doubts are real. I think this is an obvious one, not just because of COVID-19, but just life in general. How many of you feel stress? Stress in life and jobs and maybe you're losing your job. Is college going to open up? Are we going to come back? Finances, all of it is stress. And stress is real. And Jesus is saying to us that when we peel back the layer of stress, and it gets all tangled up. He doesn't want us to live our lives with stress. Human nature is such that it is that I think we all in some way battle with addictions. Whatever that addiction may be. This is like a prisoner. Because God lock, and not God doesn't, but we lock ourselves up. When we pull back that layer, God is saying something to us to let it go. Trust in my divine providence and my grace for you. Because this can really be like a net, a fisher's net. And as you see with fear and stress, loneliness, doubt, addiction, whatever it may be, it's kind of like a tangled net. And you can't fly like God wants you to fly, like your moms and your dads and your school here at Louisville students. They want you to fly. But the more we get tangled in the nets of all of these things in life, the more we let this dominate our lives, the more tangled it gets. And Mary in this mass in Louisville High School and your moms and dads, they say, throw it all away. We don't need it anymore. Because when we throw it away, we get the beautiful gifts that God gives to us. When you're feeling afraid, stressed out, God wants us to find true peace. The peace that comes in our hearts when, like Mary, trusting in the Lord. And when we continue in life and we throw that net away and we have doubts and stress, God is saying, like Mary, trust. Trust that God has a plan for you, that God cares about you. He's not remote. Because when we pull back the layers and throw away the nets, and we trust in God's divine providence, miracles happen. Whenever you feel in life a little bit down, and maybe you're experiencing after how many weeks this has been, nine, ten weeks, is this ever going to end? God gives us hope. Hope is something that does not disappoint. Mary hoped that 
her son will bring us salvation. And you heard in Elizabeth's reading today that she left, the baby left for joy. Do you have joy in your life? So my dear friends, the whole message of today, Mary's yes, Jesus' love for us, it's all because of love. No matter what coronavirus or what we are battling in our own lives, when you peel back the layers of all this stuff, when you get to the person that God has created you to be, that's when we have love. So my dear friends, let us never forget. We might have technical difficulties. Pull back the layers of who God has created you to be. I think you're going to find something pretty amazing. So all the students who are with your moms, lean over and just put your hand on the shoulder of your mom. Moms, put your hand on the shoulder of your daughter or daughters. And let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you, the, we give you thanks for the gift of family, the gifts of our mothers and daughters, families. Will you give us trust and peace, hope, but most importantly, love. And give us the courage to peel back the layers of all those things in life that keep us being from the, being the person that you have created us to be. And bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us all stand for our prayers of the faithful. The response is... Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for our mothers, to whom you have entrusted the care of every precious human life. From its very beginning in the womb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Assist all spiritual mothers, those who, though they may have no children of their own, nevertheless selflessly care for the children of others, of every age and state in life. Grant that they may know the joy of fulfilling this motherly calling of women, whether in teaching, nursing, religious life, or in other work which recognizes and fosters the true dignity of every human being created in your image and likeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us to be women of justice and peace reaching out to those in need of compassion and kindness. We remember especially all mothers who cannot provide for their children. We ask you, Lord, to give them hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember our mothers and grandmothers who are ill, and we ask you to give them strength and courage. We remember our mothers who have died, and we ask you, O Lord, to grant them peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are on the front lines of this COVID-19 pandemic, especially our healthcare workers and first responders, for all who are unable to stay at home but must work to provide for their families, may God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those petitions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we ask your blessings on all those you have entrusted motherhood. May your Holy Spirit inspire and strengthen them. May all mothers follow the example of Mary, the mother of our Lord and imitate her fidelity, her humility, her self-giving love. May all mothers receive your grace abundantly in this earthly life as they look forward to eternal joy in your presence in the life to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A beautiful closing prayer. Take my heart away. Take my hopes and dreams, take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. These alone, O oh God, are enough.
beautiful. Let us all pray together that our sacrifice on this holy altar may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on the offerings made here, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts filled with the light of the Holy Spirit may constantly strive to cling to Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. It's our duty, our salvation always, everywhere, to give you thanks, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of your saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even the earth's ends have done great things, extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. So may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the chorus of exultant praise. Take a moment as we begin the Eucharistic prayer to place on this altar and this gym whatever prayers you have in your hearts at your home. That way all of us, wherever we are, united around Jesus Christ, Louisville High School, coming together as one. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. Be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, clergy, religious, Remember all of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. All of our mothers, grandmothers, those in our lives that have gone home to you. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles, and with all your saints, Saint Louis, pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Friends, it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand up from our couches and recliners and let us pray together as one the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to get peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress. Wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to us here and in our homes, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with, your spirit. Spirit. with great love in your hearts, give your family members a big hug. Peace be with everybody. Peace. distant from our hearts. He fills our soul and heart with hope and trust and grace and peace, forgives us all our sins. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing one verse of Open My Eyes.
Let us pray. I grant we pray, O Lord, whom you have strengthened at the table of your word and sacrament, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary as our patron and guide, we may reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christian, follow whatever accords with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Now we're going to have a blessing for mothers and daughters. So wherever you are in your home, I want you to get together, put your hands again on each other's shoulders, and very special blessing for all of our mothers and daughters. Dear God, on this special day, we thank you for these mothers and their daughters. May you bless these women and fill them with incredible peace and love. May they feel confident and worthy. We pray that they may go closer to you every day. We pray that all mothers and daughters lead their lives by the example set by Christ. May they face everything with courage. May they always walk with integrity. We pray that you help them in, with their struggles. Surround them with encouragement. Give them your precious wisdom. May mothers and daughters everywhere Experience joy today. In Jesus' name, amen. And I don't know about you, but I think a huge round of applause for all everyone, the campus ministry and our amazing music, our tech crew here. Big round of applause. It was wonderful, wonderful. It seems so weird that this is empty, though. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and those you love. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. We stay in our homes and do whatever you do. <laughs> but a wonderful blessing. It is, again, in all the uh, class of 2020, our prayers, and such a gift to Louisville, and now there's an induction ceremony. God bless you. Good morning, class of 2020. It's an honor to be here with you today. My name is Teresa McMenamin. I'm the Alumna Relations Manager at Louisville. I'm also a Louisville graduate, class of 1989, which means I've been a member of the Alumni Association for more than 30 years. It is a privilege for me to speak with you today as you become the newest members of the Louisville Alumni Association. I remember May of my senior year. My graduation dress was approved, AP tests were taken, and classes were winding down. Suddenly, lunches on senior lawn felt extra special. We wrote in yearbooks every chance we could get. We relished every last time. The last time we pulled into the parking lot, the last slip we got for not wearing proper uniform, the last run to Blinky's Donuts before school, the sun was shining and all we could think about was moving on to our next chapter. We were restless and ready to leave the safety and comfort of Louisville. Your senior year is not anything we could have imagined. While the actual events look different, the traditions and care surrounding your graduation remain the same. The class of 2020 will be remembered for the strength and resiliency you have shown in these past few months. A Louisville graduate confidently accepts challenges and seeks solutions in order to heal, unify, and transform. Your perseverance is the true embodiment of a Louisville woman and graduate. Let us not allow recent events to overshadow your time at Louisville. On your first day of school, when you were introduced to your big sister, graduation was probably a distant thought. Looking back, the four years on this beautiful campus likely went by much faster than you imagined. From school dances, water polo games, your ring ceremony, musical theater, spirit week, science fairs, kairos, study periods, art shows, mock trials, early dismissals, team practices, service days, fashion shows, and lunches with your mom, and much, much more you are part of the tapestry of Louisville and it is part of you. You are transformed and ready for your next chapter beyond the Blue Gates. When you graduate and exit the school for the last time as a student, it's not the end of your time at Louisville. You now join a group of over 6,000 women who proudly call themselves Louisville alumni. 
As an alumna, it is your turn to support current and future students as they walk in your footsteps and the footsteps of those who preceded you. The women who have sent you notes of encouragement this week and those who delivered induction gifts to you yesterday are members of the sisterhood that you are now joining. As an alumna, it is our responsibility to support Louisville and its student body. No matter what your future holds, Louisville will always be your home. Let me say that again. Louisville will always be your home. Come back often. Share your gifts with the students through the FOCUS program. Volunteer your time at the Easter egg hunt. Join the Alumna Association. Donate to the Louisville Fund. I encourage you to stay connected. Some of my best girlfriends are women I met 30 years ago at Louisville. We were all so lucky to have had the Louisville experience. I never thought I would return to work one day at Louisville High School, but here I am. And I am so grateful to work for and give back to the school that has given me so much. Class of 2020, on behalf of the Louisville High School Alumni Association, we congratulate you on your graduation and welcome our newest alumnae with open arms. I'm so thrilled for you. Du le vu. Please join me in reciting the alumnae pledge. As an alumna of Louisville High School, I will uphold the mission of Louisville and the Sisters of St. Louis to work toward a world that is healed, unified, and transformed. For the knowledge I have received, for the community I have found, for the confidence I have gained, I am thankful. In gratitude, I pledge today my loyalty and love to Louisville. I will use my time, talent, and treasure to ensure the legacy of the school for future generations. I make this pledge solemnly and upon my honor in the presence of God and the Louisville community. Alexandra Almazar. Kylie Andonian, Leah Andrada, Anne Marie Ardy, Allison Aronoff, Madison Barbello, Abigail Beck, Jessica Barony, Tatum Bowen. Diara Brown Jenkins, Emma Calderon, Asmir Castañeda, Alana Celaya, Catherine Cipriani, Angelina Cisneros, Madison Cockrum, Isabella Costa. Mackenzie Dalfers, Aliyah De Vivero, Lila Dubois, Ava Dunlop, Isabella Dutra, Kennedy Factora, Melina Faramond, Felice Fisher. Isabella Gamwell, Olivia Gamwell, Maria Juliana Gavoto, Samantha Galfuso Perkins, Evan Jensarowski, Emily Gilmartin, Grace Gillespie, Sydney Gorin. Emiko Hayashida, Daphne Wanka, Kristen Huber, Katie Inoue, Ruby Keys, Margot Keckner, 
Sophia LaFrance Pamela Landizori Michaela Lerman Samantha LeCursey Brianna Maldonado Christabel Malik Chloe Meslansky Mia Matsaganian Kelly McCory Olivia McGrory Caitlin McNeil Nellie Mullane Alyssa Newman Chloe Newman Savannah Newman Emma Nikla Angelica Nisbet Beth Ochoa Lucille Odin Osawoman Omozori Isabella Paladines Caroline Pelayo Kimberly Perales Chavez Fatima Perez Katarina Perez Brianna Reed Jamie Schiller Riley Sempsch Taya Shulga Amanda Sievert Alexandra Stern Mia Sermayan Riley Tanner Eleanor Thielander Shannon Toledo Anna Venuti Mara Weinstein Aiden Welch Brianna Whitaker Olivia Wright Sakira Yakub Cecily Janicek Haley Zupancic Dear Class of 2020, over the last three months, you have lived through some extraordinary days in the history of our world. What a way to end your senior year at Louisville and transition to an alumna. My prayer for you is that as you reflect upon this time, you will choose to hold on to the countless moments of joy and laughter shared with one another throughout your time on this campus. The faculty and staff celebrate the class of 2020 for your many accomplishments over the past four years, but also for the many unique gifts and talents you have shared with us. As an alumna, we hope that you will always remain connected as a class and with the entire Louisville community of strong women who have gone before you, women who shape the world. Unum, that all may be one. Know that you always have a place here at Louisville. Today, it is my honor to welcome you into the Louisville Alumni Association. Congratulations and may God continue to bless you always. And now, please join us in Louisville's alma mater. Oh! <laughs> 